Welcome to another Thrill Rides Talk to you vlog. And we are here today, we are back at Energylandia. Woohoo! Woo and we are here for a very special visit. First of all, we are here for Dan's birthday, uh, Christmas present and birthday present. <laughs> so welcome Dan to your birthday. Yeah. Yay! And also we are here because we're going to be working for the park today, aren't we Dan? Yes, very exciting. We are indeed. So yes, we are in the park earlier than the park is open today. Uh, to basically get some on-ride footage for the park, uh, to get some photos and any media stuff that they want doing today in the next few days we are here. Stock up on content. So yeah, yeah, exactly that. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day. The sun is shining as it should do. I've got my coffee. We've got the beast behind us, Hyperion, with a fantastic inversion there as well. But yeah, we're looking forward to finally getting back on these rides this year. Yeah, yeah and uh, see what happens in terms of the rest of the year. But yeah, really looking forward to uh, working with the park today. So thank you for inviting us over. Uh, and uh, yeah, just getting this done. Uh, that we can kind of work for you from there when coming to the park, eh? Good, it'll be really good. So yeah, not just going to cover rides and sort of updates and do food uh, vlog. I uh, might even show you around the hotel tomorrow as well. So we're going to try and include as much as we can because we know people message and message and message. Oh, how do you get over there? Where do you stay? Best places to eat? So we're going to just try and wrap it all up into one video and then we, you can watch it. So, yeah. yeah, definitely. Right, let's get in there. So Dan, this fresh that you got, mate, <laughs> you might need to um, just get some tablets when we get back. So since our last visit here, they've now got um, electric chargers. They've got six charging points right at the front of the car park. Uh, so if you are coming over in an electric car, or your hire car is electric, that is a perfect place to charge up. It's just a beautiful day, look at the sky, lovely. Right, off to meet the marketing director for Energylandia. So, camera's away and we'll see you after our meeting. By the park, um, we've got a lovely guide for the day, so. Hey Paul's quickly chatting with her. Yeah, Sandra's going to take us around the park. Obviously, we've been here before, so we know the layout and things, but um, it's just to speed up the process of getting more content. Um, just going to take us to the front of the queue so we don't have to walk around Zarja's massive queue line. Uh, so that's a big, big positive. So we're now heading over to the new Zarja area. and We can uh, have a chat when we get there. Just had an amazing ride on uh, Wonder Wheel. Got some lovely uh, footage. The staff were really good on there. Um, managed to also get Zarja to test whilst we were up there. So we got some brilliant photos. And we're now going through a little side gate for Zarja to save the two mile walk. So this is brilliant.
Mosey. <laughs> One of his favourite parks in the world. And he's got it to himself. He's... Uh... launch Dan, what an absolutely <laughs> fantastic morning that we've had so far. Amazing, uh, really amazing. Is. So grateful to the park just for giving us sort of that hour and a half in here just to get some footage. And it's just so much easier when you've not got um, obviously the time restraints of having to get on the ride and your bag's in a locker. And you know, you don't get that opportunity on Zardra, especially because the cameras and that are all away in lockers before you get yeah. to the station. So, definitely, yeah. So, thank you to the team there. Absolutely brilliant. Um, really, really uh, professional. Um, making sure that the mounts are on. So, like I said, I've got the mount here. Uh, we have tapes. We have like different things to allow that to go on um, as well. Uh, we've done insurance for this trip as well to make sure that if anything did happen, uh, we we know we've got it all covered. Um, but yeah, they, there's a uh, someone that actually checks it all before you kind of uh, set off anyway. Um, but yeah, we had an absolutely fantastic morning so far. Yeah, and, and the uh, coasters are running well as well. Yeah, so. definitely. So we're on our way now back to the front of the park now. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit towards the front, which gives us a little bit of time to kind of catch you in what we've missed as well, really, isn't it? Yeah. So we've missed quite a lot just getting over there to be able to uh, get on the on-rides. So we've still got a few more coasters to do. Um, so Hyperion, we're looking now, we're trying to do that later on tonight as a sunset kind of uh, POV for them. 
uh, or even tomorrow morning uh, so yeah looking forward to getting on that uh, as well but yeah so far uh, absolutely fantastic uh, kind of you know kind of things from the park isn't it yeah no, entertainment really cool. and stuff so it's not just the access they're giving us that's uh, parking lockers yeah. tickets for like the arcades and everything you know it's definitely really looking after us which is nice yeah definitely yeah and we're getting the photos and videos for them so we're going to carry on we are now in formula the other side of the park here so far and now we've been left to our own devices for a bit dan we've got ourselves a cheeky little beer and uh, yeah really looking forward to just spending the day now uh, just getting on some of the rides and uh, yeah this will be our first one of the day hyperion an absolutely fantastic intermin coaster which is one of the best drops you'll get on any coaster dan how good is this ride I love it, absolutely love my hearing. Yeah, one of the best steel coasters out there for us. Yeah. But yeah, and no, I just touched it on this morning, it's been great, you know, we got to the park at nine o'clock, we had a media uh, lady waiting for us, she's, she's all around the park, nothing's been too much of a hassle, uh, managed to get all the shots, all the content we've needed, and now, you know, we can just chill out for the rest of the day, hopefully do a bit more filming later on when the park's shut. And if not, they said we can do a bit more tomorrow morning, so brilliant. Definitely. So the only thing we can't do tomorrow is Sandra, because there's already a team of people ready to do some filming there. Uh, but we, we should be good to go. Uh, so we should hopefully have some off-ride, uh, on-ride mounted kind of videos of them as well. But yeah, it's great to be back. It's great to get a beer in a park, just walk around and get on some fantastic coasters. So. Definitely. Yeah, I love it. Should we get on it? Let's go. Boom. Down. Georgina. Here we go, your first ride on Hyperion. It's bright, isn't it? It's very bright. But are you excited? Yes. Definitely. Best first drop on a coaster you'll ever do. I think. Nice and tall for you as well. I don't think you're my number one. That's what Dan, we'll see. That's what Dan makes. We'll yeah. see. Are you ready? Yes, Here we go. Come on! Stupid people clap at the end, Dan. Oh, what a fantastic ride there. Not just one ride, but two rides there two on rides Hyperion. Front and back row there with Georgina going on there. And uh, yeah, she really enjoyed it. She said it was actually better than Millennium Force, which is definitely, in my opinion, yeah, easy. easier than that. Obviously, Millennium Force is a great ride in certain aspects, but unfortunately, not kind of Hyperion's nah, level in terms of like, the first drop there. Dan, how was it? Yeah, good. I had the outer seat on the first ride on the back, and yeah, a little bit rally, but then yeah. front row in the middle, it's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. That first airtime hill is just unbelievable. It's isn't insane. It? Just literally, it Proves is why you don't need trim brakes on a lot of these in other Intamin launch coasters because yeah. you're going down there so quick. That, I mean, you literally fly out of there. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. It really was a great ride to get onto. In terms of the actual ride, for me, I had the middle seat, first of all, on the back. There was no rattle there compared to kind of normal. Um, and then the front row, like Dan said, uh, nothing at all, even on anywhere. So yeah, it was really, uh, you know, kind of really good maintenance that they've done there as well. Um, so the water park is currently not open, but it does allow you to come through. So obviously there's no water at the moment, they're doing a bit of maintenance. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, you can actually still come in here and just chill out. Yeah, literally. the water park's not open, but you can still come in here and chill out, yeah. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So yeah, got a high peering just going up there in the background. But yeah, it's good. But yes, literally. The only, the only new thing for this year is the uh, airport scanners. Yes. Um, 
yeah, it can be a bit busy in there with obviously people going in to get onto the ride and then people coming back in to collect their bags after the ride. Yeah. Maybe could look at putting them somewhere at another point in the process, maybe. Yeah, or like another out or in kind of area as well. Yeah, just, you know, just a gets a bit. In there. You think it's really busy and then you like go through and there's like no one there, really. Yeah. So, it's but yeah, great. fantastic ride. I really, really enjoy. Have things to say about it. Yeah, really enjoy going on there. But yeah, the water park at the moment, like I said, is currently closed. Opened up again on the 28th of May, uh, all over this area. Not the full park, but um, on just this little bit here will be all opened up, ready to go. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's getting warm here actually. It's getting quite warm, um, so it's kind of nice. Get on some water rides soon. Speed, definitely get on speed soon. Uh, but yeah, so far with the weather, the rides that we've had, brilliant day here at Energylandia. Have we got at the park today? Um, so they now do these uh, play and win fun cards. So um, it's, it's not bringing loads of cash and change, you just top the card up and then the other cards the, and the uh, machine yeah. sort of play the game. So yeah, the park has given us a few of these to have a play on the machines and that. Yeah. Right here. There we go, there's mine, VIP card. Securing a new start of course. At all times. Yeah. Go, it's going down. Now. No, no good, mate. No good on that one. No? No. Five thirty? Oh, How is that? Oh, nice smash mine. Here we go. Oh, you're Alright, Dan. What's it doing? It's just spinning, Dan. Real. Is it? There we go. There you go. Go on, Dan. This is the game of skill, not high speed. Okay. Yes. Here we go. 200 points, Dan. Way. Oh, yeah. Good job. Hold on, Dan. Smash that. Not obviously a thousand, but he smashed it. Second hoist on there. Well done. The Americans were here, the water was cut, like coming in over the side, even now. It's cold, isn't it? It's I'm already wet. You're wet? Oh, How are you wet? For God's sake, you can get a bit of Jesus. a trip, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than Charlotte. Right, this is the best bit of the ride, isn't it? Here we go, 200 feet in the air. That's another one. Have you felt how cold the water is? That's not that bad. Oh. oh. They're going to get soaked in row three. I'm telling you now. Row three's a goner. What's row three in front? All the water, it's because it's two halves of a boat, so all the water comes up between that gap. Uh... It's about in a very good seat, that area. Here we go. For the, for the lean. The lean. Good, isn't it? Oh, oh. Good view of the part, though. Good, the yeah. front is great. Yeah, like we've not even gone down that side of the park yet. Is that their park as well? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Whee! Oh.
How'd you get on? That's right. That and bad, isn't it? Sprinkle. I'm after a fantastic ride there on speed. A little bit sprinkle there, but not much at all, which was great. We are now going on the RMF coaster, which is one of my favorite family coasters. Not obviously as intense as say Colorado Adventure, yeah, but still an absolutely great kind of family coaster here. A great first drop on there for kids. So looking forward to this one. 20 minute wait, a little bit busy today, uh, but yeah, 20 minute wait for this one, so. Just uh, anchor down, get the bag in the locker, and let's queue for it. Great places to uh, actually have some ice cream here at Energy Landa is this place just by the actual booster, just there. Uh, it's actually these, and they are really nice. You get fresh fruit in there, chocolates, Oreos. They are really nice, and they are just literally just at this place here. Some really nice different ice creams that they do, uh, and yeah, they uh, you get a large portion in there as well, which is always great. Uh, so I'm going to take you around some other places now to show you some food areas to eat while we're in the park. Here's another bit of the park for food. So you've got the pizzeria just here, a fantastic kind of baguette pizza, uh, which is uh, quite enjoyable actually. Uh, that's what Dan and Georgina's getting at the moment. And if you just pan around just a little bit more, just this little building here, you've got the fries, which is like the uh, loaded fries that we do back at home. Uh, another great uh, food choice there. Um, around about 28 slotty uh, for them. And then the pizzas are around 20 as well. Um, some really nice food that they've got. And you've got the actual main Scandinavia restaurant there, uh, where you kind of pick and choose what you want for your food choices. So a little bit of a different option there. And I've actually gone for uh, the chicken baguette just here. Just something a bit light um, and kind of not cooked really perfect for me. It works out to around about £3.80 for that. Uh, but yeah, it looks really nice. Look at that kind of, this looks nice and fresh. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. But yeah, you've got little variations. You've got the gift shop just there as well. And this is just as you come through the entrance, just come round. But yeah, the pizzeria, looking forward to trying it. If you are running out of battery at Energylandia at any point, just head over to the Green Cafe, uh, just outside of Zandra's queue line. And uh, there is three power banks on the table, which actually give you different ones as well. I've currently got the USB-C um, plugged in to my GoPro, but yeah, really good idea. And they keep these charged up throughout the day, so if you ever come in at all, you'll be able to come into the cafe here uh, to grab a nice little cheesecake or coffee or um, a cake or not an ice cream that Dan's got. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, just little bits that they can do. I've had a smoothie. So the smoothie is actually freshly made for you and they put it into the bottle uh, and that's 18 Polish latte which is about three pounds um, and then I've had a cheesecake as well which is the same so yeah Georgina's got a nice little chocolate cake there Ooh. there we go look at that and that is what 18 isn't it 16 16 oh wow it's about two pounds 50 isn't it something like that so yeah, if you do get one out of charge, I said just come here free of charge to charge your phones or your equipment. It has become a yearly tradition for me to go on this. Just because I know that you guys don't like going on it, I every year do it for you, so you don't have to. 
This is the log flume of Terra, and uh, it is time to go up the lift hill. So if you are brave enough like me, uh, get on there and, and uh, show us. We'd love to see the video. Here we go though, it is time for the biggest drop on park. Here we go. Back to right. Coaster on par, it will make you laugh like anything. <laughs> <laughs> Get your tablets ready. Yeah, literally, this is embarrassing. All right, starts off. Here high. we go. What a beautiful view. And then that's it. Bang. Oh. Yeah, right, starts off all right. Here we go. Oh, oh it's not spinning yet, Dan. Oh. Here we go, Dan. Were you? 
Georgia, she's a screamer. She is, mate, she's drunk. Oh, you're too funny. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Look at it again. Are you joking? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I hear, I hear some uh, skidding. A bit of skidding. Yeah, they're skidding over there. Skidding. Dan's been smashing the coaster count out today, even though he's got the coasters. Yeah, he's uh, he's been stand up coaster. He's got his back on on his yeah. Um, but yeah, I've uh, I've kind of had been on a few. We're back on Zion show. That was quite nice, wasn't it? Yeah. We've been on the, uh, the kids ride, uh, boomerang. Uh, called you know the boomerang coaster. Uh, we've been yeah, the on boomerang called boomerang. Yes. Yeah. We've been on uh, Maya as well what else have we done um the observation tower observation tower that went on for far too long you've got amanda thompson's fountains there i swear that wasn't working last time well, that's got more reliability than valhalla it, yeah that is get more wet as well oh look they've actually got a bit over here as well now like a little water show over here this wasn't here before but You've also got the Winter Kingdom uh, event being sh shown off there. But yeah, they've got some fountains going. We love a bit of fountains here. Real voice photography. There we go. We've got a little bit of movement in here now. Still nice clean water with a bit of going round. Just over there. But yeah, we are on our way to the Little Explorer ride here to uh, get another cred for Georgina. Uh, so here we go, another one ticked off the list for her. It's time for Little Explorers Boomerang Ride.
my god what a great end to the day there wow first of all the show at the end li literally it just makes the actual end of your day you go away with such a good feel factor it is really really good and I, I, I just wish a few other parks would do that it just feels great doesn't it at the end the kids are involved the adults are involved it Not really does with a sour taste in your yeah, mouth yeah exactly like that some um, other theme parks definitely so how are we done today we've done about 17 probably rides yeah and Into, the rest. Yeah, yeah like well, we've it's done been five crazy how many rides we've just done today and we've literally chilled as well a lot of the day today um but yeah it's been great i've really really enjoyed today it has been uh, just fun central all day today uh, the mascots being around the place just really do make they are just characters in themselves they you can see they enjoy what they do because you just see them chasing after kids and enjoying it as well i just think it's brilliant dan what do you reckon today been sound yeah apart from um, a couple of days at cedar points definitely been like some of the best hours i've spent in a theme park today yeah the park have looked after us like with the whole zardra thing really looking forward to tomorrow morning on this beast behind us yes an hour of exclusive ride time just for three of us yeah that's like, gonna be mad definitely gonna so many good films and content and some other wacky stuff yeah some lovely goodie bags yeah free stuff. bees look we've got my own as well so nice free stuff there but yeah i mean yeah you are right uh, whoever money parks really well. do it you know early ride time to basically say right do what you want to do with our ride and let us just do it which we've done haven't we like today yeah like we've got clamps on zardra front back yeah abyss so you know, literally like our own ride on it as well so looking forward to it tomorrow is going to be great because we're going to be on this tomorrow but also everyone's going to be watching us from the car park because we're literally just playing around on the ride <laughs> which will be great won't it but well, that's your hard work mate last like, you deserve you know your hour of um, oh, de uh, definitely. But it, we, we all we all do our best to try and get everything out for everybody, don't we? That's uh, it. And, and that's the main thing. But the reason why we do it, we do it to uh, to showcase uh, good or bad uh, in terms of the actual parks themselves, you know, and the hours of footage and stuff as well. The money we spend, uh, it all comes down to you know what we're doing now. It really is. That's the thing. You know, we're not we're not celebrities. We pay like we've paid out of our own money, you know, to come here and the park you know just help with like getting us in and tickets and that but we'll always voice our opinion yeah if something went wrong today or i wasn't impressed with something i'd tell you like i have pointed out like the hyperion scanners probably could be in a better place yeah we'll always say exactly what's happening inside the park definitely and everything's just gone really well today so. yeah and it, it normally is. does here Never yeah definitely any problems but yeah really enjoyed it fantastic the food's been great as well uh the uh going on the arcade something we've not done really before not in here no, 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 no getting no, on the arcade that's it high feelings that as well getting on all the rides literally get smashing out all the coaster creds there as well today on ride filming just brilliant from the start to finish uh, so that is it from day one dan day one day done. one is done day, day two done. tomorrow guys thank you so much for watching and we'll, we'll catch, catch your ass down, down the road, the road. bye